One like this. And one no, like no, this. Good morning, everybody. I hope you had an awesome yesterday, a great today, and a wonderful tomorrow. Um, today is Tuesday, and a um, couple things. Firstly, that teeth whitening stuff. Um, listen, on the box, money back guaranteed for 60 days. Uh, after my whole dentist ordeal and, and what I paid to clean my teeth and just really kind of seeing the light and, and wanting to get my teeth back to like the best looking possible teeth I can have. You know, I just, it makes you feel better about yourself. It's something I've neglected for the past couple years. I don't want it to happen again. So I'm really investing in making my teeth the best they can be. Uh, the other day I got the Crest 3D White toothpaste. It was on sale, uh, like two bucks off. So pick that up. Uh, I decided to use the whole lineup of Crest 3D White. I got the toothpaste. Now I just picked up the mouthwash uh, and the white strips. It says money back guarantee, so I have really nothing to lose. If it's really going to be significantly better, um, you know, why not? Uh, I know I have a pretty decent smile in pictures, but I just want it even, even whiter. Uh, so I'm going to give that a shot, and if it doesn't work, I'm just going to get my money back. If it works, well, you know what, super. I, I've, Like I said, I've neglected my teeth long enough that I think this little investment is well worth the the price i've been missing out on actually taking care of my teeth the past 10 years anyways it's tuesday normally we're off on tuesday unless we have like events or whatever but today we're putting up a new sign on our head office well our main restaurant in laval so i'm here today waiting for the guy to come by to do that delbina should be on her way she should be here soon and while we wait for him to put the sign up we can get some stuff done plan out for this week now just a little backstory about being closed on monday tuesdays when my grandparents first opened up the restaurant uh, they were seven days a week it was a little shack really it was it was more like a canteen style restaurant and they were open up seven days a week and you know it became more and more successful busier and busier and it came to a point where they couldn't handle seven days a week um they believed that they should run the restaurant that they shouldn't put in the hands of other people because no one would run your business as well as you do and so they needed a break so they decided to close monday tuesday which were the two slowest days of the week now you know, it benefited like a lot because the families that, that worked in the restaurant uh, had the Monday, Tuesday off to get a lot of errands done. And while places were really jam packed on the weekend and you can almost barely get anything done because of the lineups, you had Monday and Tuesday where there was no lineups. Everything was, was open and, and quiet. So it worked out for the best. It just kind of became a tradition uh, every time we opened up a new restaurant that they would be closed on Monday, Tuesday, just because that's how it's always been. Now, lately, more restaurants have opened up Tuesday. Some are still closed Mondays. We have two that are open up seven days a week. Um, and that's just kind of how we do things. It's a little bit different. A lot of people still are not used to us being closed on Mondays and Tuesdays and they'll show up at the door and, and forget. Um, but they get used to it and, and they know. Uh, so that's something a little bit different about us uh, that you know now. Anyways, I'm gonna head inside, uh, get myself set up, use my new mouthwash and wait for Delbina to get here. All right, so they're here now. That sign is coming down. Those signs going up. Oh, you know what? Props to people that do this kind of stuff outdoors um, in winter. Uh, I gotta hand it to you. I, I don't know. I, I can't deal with the cold. And to be up there uh, working with your hands in like minus 10 weather with the wind, I, I can't. I can't do it. So. Uh, I was gonna go outside and get some footage. I'll probably go in and out and check things out as they progress because I cannot stand out there uh, and vlog. It's way too cold. You know, if it wasn't as windy as it is, it'd be good, but it's freaking windy. So we'll keep uh, checking out on the progress. All right, so I got my GoPro set up. Uh, I should do a nice little time lapse of the uh, taking down of the old sign, bringing up of the new sign. We'll see if it comes out. Cross my fingers. Here we go. So this guy. 
why. Because we do the sign in front of our restaurant. And he's so amazing. We got quotes back for like $1,500, $2,000, and he was 700 bucks. And he was so nice. And within an hour after requesting a quote, he had already visited both restaurants, taken photos, sent us the quote. It's pretty awesome. And he ended up getting more business out of it. So it shows that you go that little extra mile at the start, and it pays off in the end. Where's our guy? I can't see him. Oh, maybe he's in that little bucket. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, Mr. Allen. <laughs> Pretty much what Belbina is saying is do your shopping. Shop around for prices. So a lot of people say you get what you pay for and him being the cheapest of the bunch, you would expect the worst service and the worst job, but I mean, so far, incredible service. And we'll see once the sign is up how good of a job he does. But it's so important, you know, people, I think sometimes they get so much business, they take for granted that they can charge whatever they want for a job done. Um, and you know, there's other guys out there that'll charge a fraction of the price and do just as good of a job, the same job that they're gonna do, and are even nicer. So. Yeah, you know, give the little guys business. We start out as a little guy. We're still pretty little, but eh, maybe a little bit bigger than little. But I mean, it's important. Um, you know, these people make a living. They they got to put food on their plate, and they can use all the extra business they want. And now I'm definitely gonna call this guy back whenever we have a new sign that we need to do. Um, so, Mr. Allen, what's his company name? We're gonna put his link down in the description uh, for his website. He's got a website, so you can visit it. Uh, if you're looking to get a sign installed and you're in Montreal, I don't know what his like distances that he does, how far he'll travel, but I'm sure he'll go out of his way for you. Five stars. Five stars. There'll be no rates five stars. I'll give him five and a half <laughs> out of five. So, uh, see, dealing with people like that makes it a pleasure to come in on a day that normally we would have off. Um, if it was other people that were like late or they didn't respond well or they were you know really like not communicating it kind of tick us off but when you deal with nice people you can have all my time so the GoPro battery died which I should have expected because it being colder usually drains the battery faster fortunately I didn't get to finish the time-lapse but you get the idea turned out very nice we're very happy with it looks like a brand new restaurant now I think I'm gonna head home uh, I'm gonna relax a bit, wait for the wife to get home from work, and we'll see what the night has in store. So that's wrap for today. I got home, uh, just been watching movies for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, took it easy. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day at work. I'm in the kitchen tomorrow, so yay. So anyways, today's main goal, getting that sign up, was a success. Went very smoothly. Again, Mr. Allen, highly recommended. Uh, Great job, super nice, super honest. Um, again, link down in the description for his site. Recommend it. If you're in Montreal and you need a sign, go see him. Always remember, be respectful, respect everyone you meet, and work hard at every single thing you do. Have a good night, I'll see you tomorrow.